Oi, oi, all right, all right, how's it going? I'm Grant, you're you. This is Doodle Review coming through with a new album to chat fraff about and tell you if I like it or not, really. Uh, if you know anything about this channel, you know I generally like to keep a relatively strong focus on the world of alternative rock. Today's review is In Blood, an album by the band Hey Colossus, and it kind of slipped past me last year, so I'm catching up with it. I first got turned on to the British post-punk psych sludge outfit Hey Colossus back in 2020 with their album Dances Curses. There was a Mark Lanigan feature on the record that caught my eye like a magpie and so I quite casually added the record to my library not really knowing what I'd digitally just acquired. And I'd unknowingly summoned into my library a dark and expansive opus that honestly without context was a little overwhelming. I think in my initial review I really underrated it um, despite being impressed just because I didn't really know what I'd gotten myself into. Dances Curses as it happens was the group's 12th record at that point and I guess at the time trying to wrap my brain around this was sort of like the analogy of someone turning up to an earthquake site with a dustpan and brush. Uh, over time the record scale doesn't feel as intimidating as it once did and I've since grabbed it on vinyl um, and having some more extensive time with it is just really seen me come to appreciate the feat of the record. Dance's Curses should have ushered in an era of intense touring off the back of major accolades held at the album. However, it being 2020 when it came out, those plans were somewhat derailed. All was not lost, however, with the band instead opting to jump back into their writing and recording mode, using the world's downtime to their advantage and really grinding the gears to produce In Blood, an album that, despite the almost infinite canvas provided by a pandemic, is ultimately shorter, more succinct and more immediately accessible than their previous monster release. Although a shorter experience overall, the utterly titanic looming gloom is very much still present on songs like the opener My Name in Blood, the atmospheric Avalon and the climactic finale over Cedar Limb. These tracks share the most sonic DNA with Dancers and Curses, offering explosions in the sky level post-rock builds and crescendos alongside frontman Paul Sykes soaring but somehow also hypnotic lead vocals. In between these storm clouds in the track list are punchier tracks like Pearl with a bass groove and tone so deep and bass face inducing that it would give a lot of desert rock bands a run for their money. And above this excellent low end are completely evil sounding wah distorted guitars that pulse in and out before Sykes comes in midway with an earworm of a lead vocal melody. One of my favourites is I Could Almost Care with a rousing fast bass driving backbeat that as it continues ropes in a sick repeated lead guitar hook in the right channel to perfectly complement the simplicity of the clanging rhythm guitar progression. It all works together creating its own kind of centre of gravity constantly pulling you towards the centre. And a few tracks later towards the end the band once again treat us to their up-tempo setting with TV Alone, a track with a seriously crunchy riff emerging in its second half which might be one of my favourite moments on the album and an absolute blast to listen to. This is a fantastic album that manages to complement the expansive nature of its predecessor, whereas that was like being at the centre of a controlled demolition, this is more akin to having an anvil just dropped on you. The same effect, just two totally different methods. This is a 7.9 for me. Check this one out if you liked, or if you like this one, check out Katoilo, Ioko, baby. Uh, I would say if you like the doomy, sludgy riffiness of pigs, 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 uh, you should give this album a go. Or if you like In Blood, check out Pigs. Uh, if you like the faster, crunchier moments on this, give a look to Predeceased's album What Do You Do? And if you like the longer, expansive moments with epic but gritty finales, check out the Icarus Lines album Slave Vowels. Alright, let's knock it on the head though. Uh, if you've heard this album, let me know what you think. Drop me a note in the comments. If you've not, go and check it out. Come back and tell me what you think about it. And while you're messing around down there with all the clicks, taps in that old region of the screen, hit the subscribe button because I'm sure it's knocking about down there. Uh, yeah, hit subscribe, show some love, show some, share some thoughts. on shim, shabam, kim, bachabam. Beat up.